Hey fam, it's me, Journey Get Six. Um, this video is actually um, a request. Somebody requested my response to a video they had seen. And um, it's another YouTuber su subscriber of mine by the name of Blackie One. She saw a video by the Hodge Twins. And um, I'm a subscriber of both of them, the Hodge Twins and Blackie. Um, the video that she saw by the Hodge twins was one where the, um, they were really like, I'm just going to keep it real, kind of tripping off of this girl that, the big girl who had done a booty shaking vid. Um, they felt like, first of all, she had no business doing it. They felt like she disrespected the song. It was a Drew Hill song. Um, and they felt like um, big girls have no business uh, doing booty, booty shaking vids. Well, they made a few points in the video. They said that hip hop has gotten a lot of these young girls thinking that uh, the only way to get attention is to uh, do booty shaking videos and to be a booty shaker or whatever. And they do have a point with that. I mean, I don't agree totally, but I do agree somewhat about that. I mean, with that, okay? Now, Blackie wants me to, wants to know if I feel that it's just okay when a young sexy, curve, curvaceous, um, in shape, tone body woman versus a big girl that not so curvy, just a big out of shape, quote unquote, out of shape woman do these videos, um, these booty shaking videos. Well, I say this, there is a market for everything. There's a market for big women. There's a market for small women. There's a market for giant women. There's a market for midgets. There's a market for um, women that are with Down syndrome. There is a market for everything. Trust me, there is somebody out there who loves all of this stuff. Is it what I consider normal? No. Uh, but it might be normal to the person. So, you know, to each his own. That's what makes this world go around. Is it right? Who am I to judge? I can't say whether it's right or wrong. Do I, would I like to see my daughters out there doing um, booty shaking vids? No. No. Uh-uh. No. I don't care how old they are, they know I would disapprove of something like that. And if they ever did it, they know not to let me know about it. Um, I feel like these guys kind of went hard on the girl when they were saying that, you know, they almost threw up when they saw her. Um, so what I did was I went to the video and I didn't watch the whole thing because Honestly, I couldn't. But um, even if even if she was even if the person on the screen was a, a young, sexy by their standards woman with a nice twenty-four, I mean thirty-six, twenty-four, thirty-six body, I still couldn't have watched it because I just I just don't get off to watching those type of those type of videos. It it does nothing for it doesn't stimulate my mind it don't stimulate my eyes it's just not for me so i watched enough of it to um to make a comment and to be well informed enough to make this video blackie um i feel like no it's not it's not wrong if if we're speaking of right and wrong the right to do this that big girl has just as much right to make the booty shaking fit as the young, sexy, curvy, 
quote unquote John Sassy Curvy girl. Um, but society, it's society's double standard. But I see nothing wrong with uh, with the girl. She has every right to make the booty shaking bed if that's what she wants to do. Now there was a question about her age. They said they felt like she probably wasn't even 18 yet. Now in that case, uh-uh. The bad thing about this whole thing is that that video is on World Star Hip Hop and and now it's on the Highest Twins vlog, blog. And you know, people are, you know, commenting and it's on YouTube. So this young lady, whoever she is, um, she's become an infamous in probably a negative way. If she was being teased as a big girl, she's gonna really be teased now because, um, because of that video. Um, I feel like if we take the time, black women, and I'm not trying to turn this into a race or racial issue, I just feel like if we take the time to display our intellect and display um, just the goodness that we have in our heart and, you know, just try to make a difference in a positive way rather than buying into all the sexual exploitation that, that's going on out there, um, then we could be, we could go places. We could do a whole lot more with ourselves, with our children, with our, um, you know, in our world. Uh, I think, I hate to say it, because, um, you know, some people may take this the wrong way, but I'm going to say it because it's my opinion, and I have every right to it. But I feel like the future of the black race rests on the shoulders of black women and we're the mothers you know we're the ones who we can we actually make our men what they are you know and if we're at an age 18 doing booty shaking instead of developing our mind and educating our mind uh then 15, 20 years from now, who do you think is going to be in the position to uh, excel economically and socially? It won't be that booty shaker unless she stopped and went to school and, and you know, just really turned her life around. It's just really sad that this world is just so sexually oriented, oriented nowadays. It's, it's really sad. Yeah, it's just, um, it is what it is. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you might not believe me, but this is the God's honest truth. I knew this person. Um, it's a gentleman. Um, and he is... Um, He's gay, and I, I really I don't judge him for being gay. That's his business. Um, he's handicapped. He's wheelchair bound. He had a video on his uh, I think it was here on YouTube, and he told me about it, and he told me to go to go check out his video. Um, I went to check out his video. And it was, it was the most disturbing thing I have ever seen. Now, the guy has, he's, he's basically almost crippled with rheumatoid arthritis and, and a bit of scoliosis. So, you know, he's got the curvature of the spine and, you know, he's, you know, like, like the, that guy, um, in his video, he rolled his wheelchair up onto stage and did a pole dance. I could not watch no more than about 30 seconds of it. It just hit me somewhere in my soul that was just like, it was just a, a dark, crazy type of feeling. I just couldn't deal with it. And I'm giving you that example just to let you know and to prove what I say that there's a market for everything because that guy had an audience out there that was clapping and, and, and loving what he was doing. So, uh, that's my two cents.
God bless. See you on the next video.